in this video we'll see the important derivation in case of gas turbine or Brayton cycle efficiency now here we have to find out we have to derive the expression for optimum optimum pressure ratio for specific work output so specific work output is nothing but the work that we have obtained per kg of air so let us start with our derivation part so the derivation that we have done is on samsung galaxy note hope you will enjoy that particular derivation so let us start with the derivation part so here we have to derive the expression for the optimum pressure ratio for specific work output so net work is given by the turbine work minus the compressor work because some part of the work is required to drive the compressor so this will be equal to w t t for turbine so turbine work minus compressor work now we have already derived in our efficiency of the Brayton cycle or joule cycle that turbine efficiency is given by cp into t3 minus t4 whereas compressor work is given by cp into t2 minus t1 now we'll assume over here the t1 which is the minimum temperature of the cycle and t3 is the maximum temperature of the cycle both these values they are fixed by the designer so if this t1 and t3 they are fixed they are now constant part of this particular expression cp is also a constant term over here and then we have already seen in our derivation part that if you consider the isentropic compression process 1 to 2 isentropic compression process then t2 upon t1 is equal to pressure ratio raised to gamma minus 1 upon gamma or this implies that we can say that t2 will be equal to t1 into rp raised to gamma minus 1 upon gamma similarly if we consider 3 to 4 isentropic expansion process then we can say that t3 upon t4 will be equal to again pressure ratio rp raised to gamma minus 1 upon gamma or this implies that t4 will be equal to t3 divided by rp raised to gamma minus 1 upon gamma now both these values we can substitute in our expression of network so we can substitute these values in the w net now also we'll assume that gamma minus 1 upon gamma is equal to m so that it will be easy for us to write down the expression so we can say that w net will be equal to that is net work done will be equal to so the in the first term cp as it is in place of t4 we can substitute t3 upon rp raised to gamma minus 1 upon gamma so this is t3 upon rp raised to gamma minus 1 upon gamma that is nothing but m minus cp in place of t2 we can substitute t1 into rp raised to m now we can multiply by this we can take t3 common so and over here from this expression we can take t1 common so if you take t3 common then it will be 1 minus 1 upon rp raised to gamma now here we have to take t1 common so it will be rp raised to m minus 1 so here it is 1 minus 1 upon rp raised to m and here it is rp raised to m minus 1 so we can say that this will be nothing but cp into t3 now 1 upon rp raised to m is rp raised to minus m then minus cp t1 rp raised to m and this minus minus will become plus so this is cp into t1 we will differentiate this particular with respect to pressure ratio and equate it to zero so write down all these particular terms which we are having so it is d derivative of w net with respect to rp is equal to zero so in the bracket we have written this particular expression for net work done that is this particular part now here cp t3 then cp t1 these are the constant term their derivative will be zero so we have to find out derivative of only this particular term and this particular term so this is derivative of this particular term is zero because it is constant minus cp t3 as it is derivative of rp raised to minus m is minus m rp raised to minus m minus 1 minus cp t1 as it is rp raised to m derivative is m rp raised to m minus 1 and cp t1 is constant its derivative will be 0 now this minus and this minus that will become plus so it is cp t3 m rp raised to minus m minus 1 then this is minus this minus term we can take it on the other side it will become positive cp t1 m rp raised to m minus 1 now we can cancel out this particular term so cp will get cancelled off m will also get cancelled off from both the sides 
so we are left with t3 rp raised to minus m minus 1 is equal to t1 rp raised to m minus 1 now transfer is t1 on this particular side so it is t3 upon t1 rp raised to m minus 1 and transfer this rp raised to minus m minus 1 term on this particular side so this is t3 upon t1 will be equal to now as the base is same we can transfer these particular terms in the numerator but their sign will be different so this minus m will become plus m this minus 1 will become plus 1 now minus 1 plus 1 we can easily cancel out over here so we are left with t3 upon t1 will be equal to rp raised to 2m so just rearrange the term so we can say that t3 upon t1 raised to now this 2m will come on this side as 1 upon 2m is equal to rp just rewrite the exp expression over here exchange this particular lhs and rhs so we can say that rp will be equal to t3 upon t1 raised to 1 upon 2m and now substitute the value of m so value of m that we are having is 1 upon 2 so m is nothing but gamma minus 1 upon gamma so this gamma will get transferred in the numerator so we can say that pressure ratio or optimum pressure ratio for specific work output will be equal to gamma divided by 2 into bracket gamma minus 1 so this is our required expression for optimum pressure ratio thank you very much for watching